Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from BP for You, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about brushes. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on my brush tool, and it's going to give me my brush. And so I have brush A, which is a smaller brush, and then I have brush B, which is a much larger brush, and then I have this erase brush. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So you can click on whether you want a smaller brush or a bigger brush, and then you can refine the size by clicking on the size slider. And then we can decide exactly what we want this brush to do. To do. So let's go ahead and use this brush to maybe warm up her dress. So let's pick a nice warm color. and we'll just paint over her dress with our brush and we'll show our mask here and then we can come in here and maybe modify it just a little bit Maybe pull that up some, and you can see now that her dress has gotten a lot warmer. And it fits a lot better in with the picture, because it's a pretty warm picture, but she has a very blue dress, even though it's supposed to be white, and so I, I'm really happy with that. But let's say I made a mistake now, and I accidentally painted over this portion of sand. So we can go over here to this erase brush and we can just erase that off of where we don't want to see that on the picture by turning on this mask overlay to kind of get a feel for where it's at as to where we don't want it maybe we don't really need it on oops we don't really need it on this groom over here just trying to warm her dress up a little Okay, so now we can come up here and we can create a new brush. And so we can still see we still got these pins over here. Um, now we have this new brush and we can do something else with it. So maybe if we wanted to take our exposure down just a little bit on the sky, just to make it slightly more dramatic. We can turn this off. And we can grab a before and an after on that. And maybe in addition, we should add a little contrast and just a little bit of saturation. And so you can really see that we went ahead and we added that in. Once again, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that erase brush to kind of pull that out of the water. Let's grab our mask overlay to make sure that we only have it where we want it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So if we wanted to go back over here to and work on the dress again, then we could just click on that dress pin. And now we would have that brush back and we would be able to once again go ahead and work on her dress and maybe we could warm it up just a little bit more um, you know we could add or desaturate the dress which desaturating the dress actually made that look a lot more white so you can see here the before and the after of those pens but especially on the dress here um, that makes a really big difference so that is how you can use this brush tool to really go in and extra enhance your pictures. And so we have a little bit of something over here. Let's grab the mask overlay on that. I don't think it really did anything, but we can just erase that. I'm not sure when that was from. Okay. So here we've got
we've got this pin here now and it um, was her dress and then we've got this pin up here in the sky so you can again turn that off and if you don't want to see your pins then you can click on never and if you decide that you wanted to have those back you can either click on auto which will show them when you get near them here roll across the picture or always and so you'll always see them no matter where you're at where your mouse is at and so again here is our before and our after really loving this after so thank you for watching this video tutorial happy editing